welcome back to the Night Child Reviews Prince. We're reviewing Graffiti Bridge, track four, day four, The Question of You. Now, The Question of You is a song that Prince performs quite a lot live. He often puts it in a medley with uh, Falling, the uh, Alicia Keys song, and The One from the new Power Soul album. But this is quite an interesting uh, song in a sense. It was around from 1985, was the earliest version recorded. A few months later, an instrumental version was recorded. Um, and Eric Leeds, who was unaware that Prince had already created this song called A Question of You, called it 12 Keys when he recorded that as a kind of instrumental version. So, oh, where do I begin with this song? This is one of my favourite songs. This is a phenomenal song. It is just simple genius. It really is. I mean, you've got Eric Leeds, as I said, on saxophone. Yeah, but it does this fantastic intro, this kind of whirling, otherworldly, ethereal kind of um, intro. And then you have these drums, these huge drums that just thud into your heart. You know, they come crashing down. It's like a heartbeat. It's boom, 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 boom. And it's just, oh, it's phenomenal. Um, it's very, I think, like a gospel-like song in a sense. And Prince has performed this, kind of intertwining it with the song Electric Man, which is another great song. And it just works so well, it's fantastic. So anyway, it starts off with these lyrics of, you know, so what is the answer to the question of you? What do I look for? What shall I do? You know, which way do I turn when I'm feeling lost? If I sell my soul, now what will it cost? You know, must I become naked? No image at all. He's just burying his soul in these lyrics. It's fantastic. It just, it just falls into this fantastic kind of uh, brilliant vocal arrangement. And when he starts off, and he sort of, starts off with these, these lines of, so what is the answer to the question of you? And he just hangs, he just hangs on that kind of you. Fantastic. Um, there's a great bit where it kind of speeds up a bit and uh, Prince sings, you know, all of the questions in my life would be answered once I decide which road to choose. So what is the answer to the question of you? And it's boom, boom, boom. It's fantastic. For me, the best part of this song, honestly, is about 128, the guitar comes in. Now, the guitar is fantastic. There's this tiny little pause, which is remarkable. It starts off with the guitar solo, and it just goes, da -da 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 -da, and it's just a tiny little pause, tiny little pause. And then it sort of hangs just behind the beat, kind of languishing. So it sort of starts off, da -da 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 -da, a little pause, da -da 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 -da. It's just a tiny pause and it's just kind of just a little bit behind the beat, as they say in uh, during repetition. It just languishes and rolls about. It's fantastic. It's a really just incredibly moving song. Um, you've got these kind of in the background, these hand claps, these very crystal clear hand claps that are just chilling. They really kind of uh, just so clear, so crisp, uh, uh, so well recorded. The sound of this album, I have to say, is very, very, very good. Um, and uh, 229, you've got these hand claps mixed with the voices and the guitar. Uh, it's, it's just remarkable. It is a stunning song. It's spiritual. It's transcending. You know, it's uh, just one of those things that just is ethereal, another world, a kind of genius song from Prince. Um, just slightly at the end, towards about three minutes, you've got these kind of, this kind of keyboard, harp-like string effect, which is just amazing. We light and kind of, almost kind of Mozart-like, actually. Uh, it's just an amazing song, a truly spiritual song, and it's just so simple. In a sense, some people say, well, you know, should it have more verses? Should it? I think it's perfect. I think it just it allows that guitar solo to breathe that kind of beautiful, melancholic, reflective mood. And I, I, it's just fantastic, it really is. The guitar solo in particular is just one of Prince's most iconic guitar solos. I love that guitar solo so much. So anyway, I'll calm down now. It's okay. <laughs> Question of you, fantastic song for Prince. We'll be back tomorrow and we'll be reviewing elephants and flowers.